Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Thursday the 6th of February. The local media headlines today. Cornwall Council is to set up a new arm's length company to intervene in the adult social care market. It'll employ around 350 people and have an annual budget of £10.5 million. And on the face of it, it appears to herald a return to the sort of direct provision of adult social care which used to exist 30 years ago. The company will be called New Care Co and will be part of Cornwall Council's CoreServe group. Officials hope it will set a new high standard in the care sector. The proposal is to be debated at a meeting of the Council's Cabinet next week. Cornwall Reports also covered the Liberal Democrats' official quest to find candidates for next year's council elections and the publishers of the Cornwall Live website, who had been experimenting with asking readers in Huddersfield to pay to access content, have given up. It means that Cornwall Live will almost certainly remain free to access, paid for by advertising. The plight of Cornwall's town centres has been highlighted by a report in the Falmouth Packet. The former Marks and Spencers store, once a giant in the local retail sector, is now just another empty building, for sale for £2.5 million. It was one of 14 Marks and Spencers to close last year. The Cornish and Devon Post told us how a 200-year-old watercolour painting of Launceston by the British master William Turner sold at a Christie's auction for more than £360,000. Pirate FM reported how firefighters helped rescue a person from a car caught in floodwater at Porthleven. The Cornish Times welcomes news that Noel Gallagher is to play at the Eden Project in June. And finally, there's nothing like the prospect of a wet and windy weekend to get them excited at Cornwall Live. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.